Okay, so here's the deal. I really want to get into game development. I think most kids, at least the ones that were in my friend group growing up, shared this collective dream of getting paid to play video games all day. And obviously there's more that goes into it than that, but come on, you know what I mean. And it's not like I haven't tried to get into game dev before. I mean, hell, I'm a professional software engineer. Game development is one of the main reasons I initially went into this field. And I've done game jams, and it's just, it never fails that after two days of eating, breathing, and sleeping game development, I'm burnt out and I don't want to keep doing it. I've done it at projects at work as well, and it's just not sustainable for working on a big project. This time, I'm going to do things differently. So first of all, I'm working on the game of my dreams, TM. We'll get to that one in a bit. But secondly, I'm building the game engine from scratch. Now let's just be clear, I'm not talking about building something like Unity that's got a UI and like you can just sell the engine itself, it's a standalone product. I'm doing something closer to Monogame, if you've ever used that before. It's just going to be a simple C++ library that anyone can incorporate into an application and hopefully start making games. Okay, so back to the game. Uh, I'm going to be making an MMO, and I get it. That is a monumentally huge undertaking, and I'm not taking it lightly. I've got a few stages planned out of how I want to progress through this so that I'm not getting burnt out and so that I'm actually making meaningful progress. And I've already made a little bit of progress on the first stage. Okay, so stage one is all about getting the basics of the engine set up. I need rendering, I need events, I need input, I need networking, and I've already got most of that set up. The only thing left on that list is rendering. I haven't touched it yet. And I really like the event system and the input system that I've created. I'm not so big on the networking, I'm probably going to refactor it at some point, uh, mainly because I'm just not 100% sure that it's going to be able to stand up to the strain of running an actual MMO. Okay, so while we're talking about the early stages of development, it's time for a little bit of a disclaimer. When I was first starting out, I was following along with the Game Engine tutorial series from The Cherno. Side note, if you haven't heard of The Cherno, go check him out. He is essentially doing what I'm trying to do, but so much better. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Anyway, while I was writing some early systems for the engine, such as the application entry point, the event types, uh, getting an OpenGL context and creating a window, I was heavily referencing his videos for those. And so there's going to be a lot of similarity, if not some identical code between my implementation and the Hazel engine implementation. Uh, and so to that end, I've included Hazel's license in the source code and any files that are directly using Hazel's code or the ideas presented by the Cherno have a little disclaimer at the top of the file to denote that. Uh, also for the networking code, I was following along with JavidX9, aka One Lone Coder, uh, with a networking tutorial using ASIO that he created about a year ago. Uh, so that code is very, very similar, if not identical, uh, and I've included his license and a reference to his channel as well, just in the spirit of FOSS development. Okay, so back to the different stages of the project. Stage two is going to be the MVP stage. The goal is just to get a basic, low-poly, dumbed-down version of an MMO with some very basic systems like crafting, combat, and leveling. It's not going to look pretty, uh, but it's basically going to be a proof of concept to be sure that the server and the client applications are functioning properly at the most basic level. So, stage three is where things start to get a little fuzzy. To be honest, I really just want to make sure that I can make it through stage two and have something that I can sort of call a game. Uh, but at stage three, that's where I'm going to be taking a step back, cleaning up the code, maybe writing some tests for the engine code, and trying to get some higher resolution models for the game. I don't want the finished product to be low poly. It's just that right now, I don't have the skills or the resources to create or obtain high resolution models for the game. So during this time, I'm going to be focusing on improving my skills at 3D modeling and also looking for other ways that I can clean up and add a little bit more polish to the stage two build. Stage four is where I'm gonna start implementing more game systems to make the game more MMO-like, and hopefully to add some more originality as well. 
To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what type of MMO I want to make just yet. I have some ideas, and I'm going to go over them in my next video. I gotta be honest, I don't know what stage 5 is gonna look like. It is such a long way out that I am sure my plans are gonna change before then. Honestly, anything after stage 2 is probably going to change at some point over the course of the development of this game. So anyway, that's the plan for now. I'm gonna be writing the Alkahest engine and updating the code in GitHub pretty regularly, so feel free to follow along. Also, if you want to use it in your own project, go for it. Uh, though I would probably recommend waiting until I finished the rendering code first. And that's all I got for this video. Next time, I'm going to be taking a look at the plan for the game itself and defining what I do and don't want it to be. I'll see you then.